Back in 2011, I practiced uh, in a pharmacy with another pharmacist who was just very, very health conscious, very gung ho. He was, you know, paleo dieter, had his own, not only did he do CrossFit, he had his own CrossFit gym, um, advocated to almost all of his patients how they should go grain and gluten free and how their lives will just be transformed. And it may take a while for you to adjust to your body going through the withdrawals of, of the gluten and the grains, but it, just all these amazing health benefits and energy and all all these amazing things are going to happen and i you know i'm hearing him say this and i'm like yeah that sounds great it's worth trying but i just was so resistant to even trying this because it would mean that my favorite foods that i relied on for energy like spaghetti and pizza these are cheap foods they give me high energy and I just couldn't see myself living without them. So this is 2011. So it wasn't until 2015 that I just, you know, I, I don't know why, just for no particular reason. I just like, let's see what happens if I just cut gluten out of my diet. And what happened out of just kind of an experiment thinking, not even really thinking anything would happen. Maybe I might feel a little bit different. It fundamentally, transformed my life. It, it changed my life, my quality of life dramatically improved and for reasons that I was not expecting. And in this video, I'm going to go over my experience going gluten free and why I remain gluten free despite the pain in the ass that it is, to be honest. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel where we are dedicated to a healthier, happier you through a more natural, balanced, and holistic health approach. I'm Dr. Scott. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you haven't done that already so that you can receive future health videos. So I am gluten-free. A lot of people have to do that out of necessity because of celiac. It is pretty obvious that what's happening. They eat something, they have incredible gut disorders, um, irritable bowel syndrome symptoms, um, doubled over in pain, just excruciating level of GI distress. That is not the case with me. When I was first introduced to the idea of gluten-free, I didn't have any really any big digestion problems per se. And so I didn't think, well, what could it really do for me? So. I was introduced to the idea in 2011 and it wasn't until 2015 that I just gave it a chance. So this is what it did for me. I was not expecting anything and it was like all of a sudden, have you seen the movie Limitless? The movie with Bradley Cooper where he takes this pill called NZT and all of a sudden it's like this cloud that was, he was like in this fog bank his whole life. Like everything is kind of dingy and darker, almost like tunnel vision. And then all of a sudden he takes this pill and it's like, <laughs> like everything opens up, everything's brighter. The, the, this like cloud that's been on his head has just been removed and he can think and process so fast. And he, he feels great. He feels amazing. He can take on the world. So it's not only his ability to think and process cognitively better he also has the mood and the confidence to to do more and to, to uh, make things happen so that's exactly how it felt when I went gluten-free it felt kind of surreal that it was happening and for the next two weeks I just felt like amazing I felt like I was manic like I was bipolar and I was on some manic episode where I just was like super elevated super up like all of this it's like i didn't even realize this this dark cloud that had been like hanging over me for maybe my whole life and i thought to myself how how much depression anxiety and suffering could i have avoided if i knew that this thing called gluten was was affecting me in this negative way that it was causing the majority of these issues it just boggled my mind it, that we, we, at some point, it gives me hope to think that as we're learning about these things in the future, we'll weed these things out. We'll find out that a child has a gluten sensitivity, remove that, and wow, look at this, this kid, like he is having maybe um, issues with attention and 
he wasn't like socializing very well, maybe he seemed withdrawn and a little bit depressed, or maybe he was super anxious, and you remove this, this protein that's in certain foods and all of a sudden he just like thrives, you know what I mean? So that's amazing. Um, but I didn't know why. I didn't know why in particular that was happening, why I felt so good, why all those things were eliminated. So I did some research and I found out that all of it is revolving around inflammation and gluten, um, what happens is in the gut, you have, you have these, you have these uh, uh, gaps that allow nutrients to enter into the bloodstream. And you have this, this hormone called zonulin that regulates these tight junctions or gaps in order for food to get to be released into the bloodstream and uh, once that the food is properly digested. But what happens is gluten mimics this hormone and it opens up those tight junctions or gaps prematurely. So before all your food is digested, those open up and so you're getting like large chunks of protein that act as they act as antigens so your immune system is sees these big chunks of protein in your bloodstream and you're like whoa we got to mount a response we need to attack that and so what happens with in my particular case this is becoming more and more um, discussed and open but i still haven't heard a lot about it so i feel like it is so important to discuss but what happens is, for me, that crosses my blood-brain barrier. Maybe I have a, a weak blood-brain barrier, but so not only does the gluten open up these tight junctions in my stomach prematurely that, that gets into my bloodstream, that then hosts an immune response. When, you're, when your body is hosting an immune response to these antigens in your bloodstream and it crosses your blood-brain barrier, it causes an inflammatory response. So I am basically having an inflamed brain when I eat gluten. And a lot of people don't even realize how much better they can feel with their mood. They can eliminate depression and anxiety. I'm not saying this is for everybody, but if you if you suffer from those things, if you grew up, like I grew up with ADHD, with uh, some depression, um, I've had off and on some really bad episodes with it and anxiety. And this, if you're one of those people too, this could really radically change your life or at least dramatically improve it and take just one layer off of your suffering and your, um, uh, the th things that you have to deal with. So I did this and after the first time, like I said, two weeks and I was just like on cloud nine, I could think so much more clearly and I decided, you know what? I. I, maybe that was a fluke, maybe it was, you know, maybe that's in my head. Even, you know, you just you rationalize the strangest things, even though you experience something so profound and so like night and day, you always second guess yourself and think it was a coincidence or it could have been something else. And maybe I just did, like I wanted to, I wanted to, I, I mean, I love pizza, I love pasta, I love sandwiches and all, all that stuff, fried foods. I try not to eat too much of them, but, but you know, you go out to eat and you want to eat some fried foods uh, that's battered, right, which contains gluten. So I decided one day um, I'm doing all these errands, I don't have time, I'm in a crunch, and I'm like, I'm just going to go and buy a little Caesar's pizza. It's cheap, uh, I can get it really quick, and I'm just like, that sounds so good right now. When, you know, when you don't eat for long periods of time, you're more apt to eat poor, poorer food. That's why another, that's another good reason to eat more frequently so that you don't make um, worse choices with your food later on. But anyways, so I eat this pizza and immediately just like this fog comes over back over my brain, just brain fog. It's like I'm in tunnel vision. I can't, I can't, I can't think as clearly. I feel just depressed, mood, anxious, irritable. I feel really irritable and I had a few interactions and I like snapped at people. And I was like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, I just needed to go like, excuse me while I just shut myself away from the rest of humanity for a little bit. I need to recuperate from this gluten intake that I just took in. Um, it, it, it's like the gluten came back with a vengeance. So I was like, 
All right, well, uh, obviously this is a thing. So I removed the gluten from my diet again. It took two or three days for that brain fog to lift again and for me to have um, the, the better increased mood. And I just, that from then on, is like, wow, okay. Yeah, this is a thing. Um, this dramatically changes the game for me. And um, so I would wholeheartedly recommend it. If you have any issues with that, if you have someone that you uh, care about too that battles with any of these symptoms, I would recommend it is worth doing, giving this a shot because you may be having brain inflammation due to gluten and just this simple, elimination of a protein can make a dramatic difference in your quality of life. So that's my story with, with gluten-free. Uh, I'll talk about a little bit more about it in the future, but also check out the video that I have down in the description below where it talks about uh, more regarding this issue and uh, more about the, the mechanisms and the physiology and, and what's happening here. So I hope that this was informative and helpful. If you did find it helpful, entertaining, or any of those things, please uh, please give it a thumbs up. I'd appreciate it. Helps other people find it. And uh, leave, leave a comment. Uh, I'd love to know what you think about this. And if you want to hear any other videos that are uh, similar in topic. With that said, take care and to your health.